Hi, this is Mike from the Mike's Unboxing Reviews on how to, and on today's video, I'm going to show you how to recover your Windows password with just one of these. Yes, a USB stick. So we're going to head over to a website from the people over at LazySoft, and I will say this video is in no way sponsored, endorsed, or anything. This is just an easy way of recovering a password if you've forgotten it. Now, one major caveat of this, this is for a local Windows account, not for a Microsoft account. If you have a Microsoft account, there is a recovery process which you have to go through with Microsoft and pass a load of questions, etc. This is for local accounts only. Be the administrator or just an, a traditional user account, it is for local accounts only. So with that in mind, let's head over to the computer. We'll start the process and get on with things. Now you will need a USB drive. It doesn't need to be a particularly big one. 32 gigs would be absolutely fine. You can possibly go smaller or you can go much larger. This program does support both FAT32 and NTFS file systems. So if you've got a spare drive knocking around, you can use that quite easily. So let's head over to the computer and get started. Okay, so we're back onto our computer. So I'm gonna plug in our USB drive. And there we go. As you can see, this one is actually empty at the moment, but when you actually come to make the bootable disc, it will ask you if you want to erase it anyway. You can also create a bootable CD or an ISO image, should you wish to. But I think for most people, USB drive is probably gonna be the easier solution. So on the website, lazysoft.com, we wanna head over to products, and we wanna choose the LazySoft Recovery Suite. Now there's a few different versions of this available. You can get a paid professional version, but if you're just using it for home use, then you've got the Home Edition, which is completely free. So that's the one we're gonna click on. And then you can scroll down through, it tells you basically what it can do. So you can download it, as a setup file, burn it to a CD or USB, and then you can boot from it to actually use it on your computer. And also, as of the new version, 4.8, uh, enhanced for support for Windows 11. Also, you can create GPT USB disk, user interface enhancements, and some bug fixes and all that kind of stuff. So we'll download the free version now, and we'll save this to our Windows desktop, which is the default location I've got set up. So click on save, and there we go, that was uh, very quick. So we can minimize that now. You can see there is our setup file. So we're just gonna double click on this one and you'll get the user account control come up. So we'll click on yes and choose our language and you have to accept the agreement. Choose the location and click next, install. And there we go, pretty quick. And then you can choose to launch it now or you can launch it at a later date if you just uh, wanna have it on your system just in case. But we wanna show you how it works so let's click on that and finish. So this is the recovery suite software. So these are the things you can do, Windows recovery. You can also do disk images and disk cloning, data recovery, and the one we're more concerned about is the password recovery. So in order to do that, you have to make a bootable disk, which you can do from this location at the top there. So let's click on burn CD USB disk, and we'll go through the recovery disk setup process. So it says here, please select the Windows version of the target computer. So if the computer you're using is different from the one that you're actually using to create the disk, choose the appropriate one. So you've got options for pretty much everything from Windows 11 all the way back to old versions of XP. For us, it's gonna be Windows 11, so I'll choose that one. Also, if you've got a system where you want a specific Windows PE version, you can also add drivers. So if you've got a RAID configuration or using software RAID, you can add the drivers to that to make it into a bootable system. And also you've got the option for having the file system as FAT32 or NTFS for the bootable drive. So we're okay with that. So yep, yeah, that's all good. So we'll click on next. Of course, if you want to, you can just create an ISO image or if you're using disks, you can choose to make a CD or a DVD boot image. And you've got more options there. So you can choose what else is going on. Pretty straightforward stuff, but yeah, we'll use our USB flash drive. So when you're ready, just click on start and it will start building the Windows PE files. Also, it will say you must format the USB disk before it can be made boostable. Please back up your important data first. Do you want to format the USB disk now? Yes, we do. And now it's gonna prepare the Windows PE image. This might take a while, so uh, just let it do its thing whilst it downloads the relevant files from the website. Okay, so that is it done. So that is the wizard finished and the recovery disc is now ready. So now we have the option, or at least we can, 
boot from this USB drive. Now, depending on the computer you're actually trying to recover the password from or repair the password or wipe the password, your PC or computer may be different. On some, it's gonna be F9, F10, F11, might be F2, whatever. Just get into your BIOS and choose the USB boot override for the specific disk, which we'll show you now. So click on finish, we can close this down because we don't need this anymore. And there is a test account on this particular PC. So let's uh, go ahead now, we'll reboot the system and we'll try and boot from our USB drive. So there we go, click on restart. And I think on this one it's either F9, F10 or F11. So I'm just gonna press all three. Okay, so we get to the please select boot device screen on our particular motherboard, and we're gonna choose our SanDisk drive there, the USB one, and press enter. And then you get the option here, so choose an operating system to start or press tab to select a tool. So you can, if you want to, just go into Windows uh, Memory Diagnostic, but we wanna to boot to the LazySoft Live CD. So I'm just gonna press enter there, and it'll start loading the files. If for some reason when you're trying this for yourselves and your USB drive doesn't seem to work, try using a smaller USB drive. I found the 128 gig drive I was using was a little bit problematic, so I switched to a 32 gig one and it seems to work straight away. So just uh, yeah, do bear that in mind. And there we go, there is our recovery suite, our live recovery suite ready to be used. So what we wanna do is to go over now to our password recovery option and just click on that. And we've got the option to reset Windows password. You can also find your Windows product key as well, so that might be quite useful if you wanted to do that, but we don't want to do that at the moment. Uh, we want to reset our Windows password. So we'll choose next, and it will come up with the Nagware here. The free LazySoft Home Edition is licensed for non-commercial use only. For commercial use, please use the LazySoft Professional Edition. Is this for non-commercial use? Yes, we're, this is for educational use or to demonstrate how to recover it for yourselves. So we're gonna go ahead and click on yes. And it's asking which version of Windows it is, and there's only one showing, so on volume one, and the option to reset the local password because that is all you can do. As I stated very strongly at the beginning, this is only for local passwords, not for Microsoft passwords. So click on next, and I'll show you the accounts which are on there. So you can set them to blank, etc. So the one that we want to do is the uh, test account. And we'll basically just blank the password and click on next. And it's got a full name description, so you can add those if you want to. And all we want to do is just reset unlock. So there we go, password reset successfully. If you want to, you can do it for another account. So if you want to, the main administrator account, which is generally disabled, as you can see here, you do next and again, you can reset it as well, should you ever need to. But there you go, that is uh, yeah, pretty much it. If there's any other accounts you wanna do, guest account or whatever, you can do, but the one that I wanted, the test one, that's the one we wanted, so next, reset, unlock, and there you go. It's reset, so it's basically just blanked. So we click on finish, and that is effectively it. So now you can choose to reboot, and we'll do that, and then we'll try and log into the test account. There is a slight delay when you press reboot. And at this point as well, you can remove the USB drive from the computer, just in case it tries to boot from it again. And there we go, if we choose our test account, and there we go, we'll go straight in, because the password has been blanked, so it will just load straight up into our test account desktop. And see, let's finish up setting your PC. So it was a new account which was created, and I forgot the password, so now I can actually get on and finish doing it. So that is pretty much it. Okay, so there you go. There is a uh, pretty quick and efficient way of getting your Windows password reset if for some reason you've forgotten it or maybe you're buying second-hand PCs on Facebook Marketplace or eBay or whatever and you just got a unit and the password is locked and you can't get into it. This could be very useful for that so you can go in there and get access and wipe whatever you need to. Again, very handy thing to have on a USB stick just uh, knocking around in your toolkit should you ever need it. And of course, LazySoft have the other options as well. So you can do things like the data cloning and all sorts of things as well. So if you think this is useful to you, please do us a favor and smash that like button. If you want to see more content like this on a daily basis, maybe consider hitting subscribe and the chime notification. That way you've been notified of future video releases. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video.
Thanks for watching.